Question 17. A trace table has been completed for a selection sort algorithm with the following data. All right. We have an A, an array with four and five, and we have N at two. And we have some pseudo in a trace table tracing all the variables. We have to find which one of the following is the first error in the trace table. So there's an error in here somewhere that's suggesting. So that's, you know, make sure you get the scope of this question correct first. It's not, it's not asking, you know, what should we be fixing in the pseudocode or blah, blah, blah. It's asking us, where is this error? One of these variables in here is incorrect and at what stage? So, we, you know, the steps, I'm guessing it's going to be asking us. So, A, min is set to zero in step three. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I think we have to go through the code and then see if these variables match up and do what they're supposed to be doing. And then it'll be a giveaway what, what the answer is in here. There's no point in all, um, <coughs> going through these because we can't make an educated guess without actually knowing what's going on in the code. So let's do this quickly. <coughs> we have a for loop. I equals zero to N take two. N, we know N up here is two. So two take two is going to be zero. So that's going to be from zero to zero. So that's not going to be a loop at all. It's going to be looping through once. So zero, I, yes, that's correct. A, I, if we're thinking about the array, this is zero and that's one. So A zero is equal to four. So that's correct. So this one is correct. And that one is correct. Min, this is a new variable, it's not listed up here, is going to be equal to i, which is zero. So this is, hasn't changed. Min is the new variable, that's going to be equal to zero, that's correct. This is still at four, that's correct. And min, if we're looking at a min, which is zero also, which is this value here, is also at four, so that's correct. All good so far. Now we've got another, another four loop, and it's starting with j. This is another new variable. It's going to equal i plus one. We know i is equal to zero because it's that's what they set it up here. So this is zero plus one, so one. So j should be equal to one. And let's see, j is equal to one. Yes, correct. And we're going from n, uh, so from one, two n take one we know n is equal to two so two take one is one so this is going to be one as well and that means it's not going to loop this is going to be a sing singular loop as well so let's check through all these variables min hasn't changed so that's still correct i hasn't changed we haven't set i to anything or nothing has happened to that so that's still correct four AI is still correct. We haven't done any changes there. A min, we haven't even looked at that yet, so that's still correct there. And AJ, so AJ, because that's one, remember, J is equal to one from this, this stuff here. A at one is actually five, if we're looking at that array. So AJ for A1 is correct also. We're good so far. So if AJ, AJ, we know AJ is equal to five, that's five. If five is less than A min, we know min is zero and A at, at index zero is four. So that would be this. If five is less than four, then we're going to do something. This this is going to be false, by the way. So we're just going to put that here. This this shouldn't false. No, learn how to spell. This shouldn't go into this next statement, which this is. I can see this is indented. So this must belong to this if statement, and then it exits the if statement. So there's one thing here. But let's go up to this line. And just just confirm all these variables again. 
We haven't changed I, so I is still 0. Min hasn't changed, so min is still 0, because we set it up here. J hasn't changed. We're still in the first loop, so J is still at 1, because one, uh, I, 0 plus 1 is 1. So that's what we said as J. 4, AI is still 4, because I is um, 0, and that 0 index of A is 4, so that's correct. A at min, so at the moment min is the same as zero because min equals i from the start here. So that's going to be four as well. So that's correct. And at j, j is equal to one. And one at position, or a at position one is the value of five. So that's correct. We're not supposed to, now remembering, we're not supposed to get into here because this this if statement is equal to false. So let's now have a look at these variables in this trace table. Min is less, uh, sorry, min we're going to set to as the value of j. But we're not actually going to do that because this should be false. So we should be skipping this all together. We shouldn't be doing this at all. And it's saying here i is equal to 0. That's correct. Min is equal to 1. Should min be equal to 1 here? Should we be doing, oh, sorry, let's get rid of this. Should we be doing, should we be setting, this clearly a change here between these two. I might change the color. There's, a, there's a, been a change here. Is this change supposed to happen? No, it's not supposed to happen because we had a false here in this if statement. So we're not supposed to get in here and do this. This is, this is wrong. Or this is supposed to skip over and go straight to the swap or and, and then the return. So 7 and 8. <clears throat> so I think we've found what we need to find here. So this is wrong. We don't set min, the value of min to j. j is equal to 1. No, well, that's, this is supposed to be still 0 at this time. j is equal to 1. Yes, that's... That's true because we didn't we didn't do anything to J. A at position I, I is still at zero, so that's still a four. Yes, that's correct. A at position min, min is mm, well, it's saying here that it's five and there's been a change here, right? But that change hasn't is not supposed to happen because this if statement was false. We're not five is not less than 4. 5 is more than 4. If 5 was, if this was around the other way, 4 was less than 5, then yeah, we, we can come in here and then we could change this variable min, which is 0, and we could put 1 in it. So min would actually equal 1. And then that would be correct, and that would be correct also, because min at, min at 1 would be 5. So this is incorrect because we didn't get through here to this if statement or the the contents of this if statement. And 5, A at J, we haven't changed J, so J is correct. I don't think we need to go any further because we found the error here and it's on line 6. So let's see if that's actually one of the answers in the multiple choice options. Min is set to 0. So no, that was all good. So that's all good. That's not the problem. AJ is not set to a min in step five. No, no, that's an if statement, so that's that's not it. Sorry, we're not putting ticks here. So it's not that one. It's not this one. There's, there's no setting here. This is an if statement. It's conditional or comparing. C, min is set to the value of J in step six. So that's step six, yes. That is where the error is in our trace table. We have identified, remember, we're finding the first error in the trace table. And if we're looking at the trace table, not the pseudocode, not necessarily, we're not finding the error in the pseudocode. We're finding the error in the trace table. This is the first error right here. So yes, that is definitely, well, let's, let's read the last one. D, 
AI and Amin are swapped in step seven. We didn't get, we didn't get to step seven. We don't need to because it's asking for us for the first error. And we definitely know that this is the first error. So this is not it. C. Let's go and have a look at the report. So question 17. Question 17. And the answer is C. Yes, it's C. And they've written here, the first error in the trace table is min equals j. This is because this line of code should not run as the conditional statement on line 5 will return false. And that's exactly what we said. This should return false, so this line should not run, this line of code. And it's the trace table is suggesting that this line of code did run because it changed the min, which it did here, and that affected the a min, which changed the index position of the array to 5 instead of 4. That should have remained 4. Pseudocode and trace tables. Uh, a bit more on trace tables actually is on page 63. If you want to have a look in your books, there's a lot of um, worded explanations. And But this table is, is kind of a trace table for pseudocode. This figure 2.32 is a little, a little bit helpful if you want to go through that. Um, but anyway, more, more reading on page 63.